Hi, this is Trey Pass. I'm going to do an unboxing of a steel book. I haven't done one of these in a in a while, uh, but this is something that I, if you watch my in bed vlog, you probably have an idea <laughs> of what it is. But this is something that a movie that I was looking forward to that came out earlier this year on HBO Max. Okay, something that fans were really looking forward to, and I was looking forward to. Okay, and I think this version of it is the best. <laughs> okay, and it's a long movie, but it's totally worth it. Uh, anyway, um. Uh, I'd never, when this first came out, uh, I think in September it came out on, on digital, and I never thought that it would, um, and when it, you know, when, usually when these steel books that are popular comes out in Best Buy, they usually sell out right, right away, and I usually, and it's usually the people in the store that usually gets first dibs on everything, I think, and then the rest of the people that come in early get, get the rest of it, and then it sells out real quick, and then they never have it back. That's the pattern with Best Buy, in my opinion. <laughs> about how that happens. But this one, uh, I wasn't even looking for it. I just got through getting my uh, booster vaccine shot, yay for me, and my flu shot uh, that day before Thanksgiving. And I went into Best Buy to kill some time before I went to get something to eat. And lo and behold, I saw it then. I couldn't believe it. It was there because I, I looked on eBay just, you know, I think a few weeks back just to see how much they, of course, people jacked up the price to like $125, $200, for this steel book, this ridiculous prices, and I never was gonna buy it off off of eBay. I mean, I thought about it for a minute, but I was never gonna pay that much for that. I thought that was ridiculous. But lo and behold, I was looking in, and then I saw I saw a couple of them there actually, and I said, "Oh my God!" Because I already have the regular Blu-ray, so uh, you know. And then I plus I haven't I I reacted to it on my um exclusively on my Patreon cheap plug. <laughs> so as if you follow my link to the Patreon. And you join my Patreon, which is only five dollars a month. Okay, cheap plug for me, but you have my uh, reaction to that, my uh, unedited reaction to all four parts of Zack Snyder's, you know, Justice League. <laughs> so, anyway, so that's what I got the steel book. I, I like I said, I couldn't believe that it was there, you know, because like I said, it sold out. You know, I I know these like I said the popular things that when they first come out they sell out like really quick. So I was uh, stunned that it was there. I said, oh, it was a couple of them there. So I said, oh man. Let me snatch that up, and sure, it was the regular price. It wasn't no jacked up price, because if they would have, if if I'd have, if they, if they would have said something like forty, fifty dollars, I said screw you, I'm not buying that. But it was the regular like thirty something bucks, uh, I think thirty four ninety nine, which is what it normally is. But exclusively only at Best Buy, <laughs> okay. And then you have all the, I think you can see that. Sorry about the reflection from the the light up there, but then you see, you know, the sword, the Triton, and you know, you know, Cyborg, Batman, and you know, Flash raising their fists. That's cool, and then there's the back of them, you know, standing, posing, and the superhero pose and stuff, and all of the little pictures and stuff uh, right there. And this is again, again, the 4K one, which has the ultra high definition, which I don't have yet, and Blu-ray. Okay, so there you go. So I'm gonna open this up right now because I think there's a picture on the inside of it. So let's unbox this or unweb it, as it were. Take that off. Okay, and there's a little sleeve thing there okay you can see it better that way okay there it is there's superman there anyway so let's put that there and let you see the back i'm gonna let you see see the front now you can see the front more clear see because that's matte so you, you, you can't it doesn't reflect off it so much see there you go that looks freaking awesome with them raising their fist up like that <laughs> that's batman superman i think that's one woman aquaman cyborg then the flash right there there you go that's cool and then the back is a the box, the mother box, right? One of the mother boxes and the credits. That's cool. I like that. That looks cool. And let me open this up. And this has this little uh, you can thing where you can scan this. To, it says scan to start streaming HBO Max. I guess you can use this to, to maybe just to scan this movie, I guess. Uh, okay. And it has a little advertising for other movies there and haha -ha. uh, okay it has yeah okay so uh, I just want to show you this uh, let me see what this is this one which is the ultra K 4d uh, ultra high definition 4k one right there that's that one there and then there's a uh, the um, part two, you know, part two, this two right there, this one here, this two there, 
and then we flip it over so it's four discs actually. And then here's the Blu-ray. Yep, the Blu-ray. Hold on, let me just switch this around so you can see this. This one, that's the Blu-ray, and this two over there. There you go, this two. And there is a picture of them inside, so I'm gonna let you see this first. See, that's nice as well. I like it. It's nice and smooth. I like that. That's matte. It's a nice matte feel. You know, I do posters at my job, so I know what matte feels like. Okay, that's a nice smooth design. So I'm gonna take all the disc out, so hopefully you can see the picture. Hold on, let me see if I can do this. Uh, hold on. Hold on, let me this. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna put this in. I want these discs to fall. Okay, that's one. Okay, that's two. I don't know. Let's see if I can get these out. Uh, hold on. Let me, yeah, there we go. That's three. And hold on. Uh, hold on. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, hold on. I, I wonder if I can take this out, this thing in the middle. But anyway, let me let you see it. Uh, hold on. This thing in the middle, I think you may be able to take it out. But I don't want to take it out and break this thing. So that, and then I have nothing to... But I think you can for some reason. I think you can. No, it doesn't. No, I don't know if it can come out there. But anyway, it's a picture of all, all five of them. You know, minus Superman. Uh, looking at the motor box. Uh, see, there's one woman flash on that side. There you go. That looks good. They look good. And then there's Batman and and Aquaman and Cyborg there. I'm sorry. I, I want to take this out, but I don't want to <laughs> take a chance that this thing, I can pull it out and then it won't come out. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I think I can. Hold on. I think I can. Hold on. I think I see it now. I think it goes in the middle. Hold on. Maybe. Hold on. Let me see something. Yeah, there we go. I did get it out. Yep. And I know how to put it back. See? There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. There. That's a nice, cool picture of them. Of them all together, minus Superman. They should have put a picture with, you know, that picture of them all standing together with Superman included and with the black suit. That would have been cool. But this is a cool picture of them. All, all five of them. That looks, that looks really cool. I like that. <laughs> I like that. And there's that. The inside. Now to put this back in, it's easy. You just slip it back in the thing. I thought it was one of these things where you couldn't put it back in because I didn't want to take it out, but you can just slide it back in. Huh? And then I can put the, the disc back in it. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. That's one. Hold on. There we go. See, there it is. Back in business. Now let me put the disc back in and then I'm going to put it in the, the little uh, plastic case that I have. A little, uh, like I got from eBay a long time ago. Um, wait, hold on for a minute. A long time ago, I got it. Uh, I got it. Uh, oh, hold on, let's see. I got these, uh, these cases from, um, these plastic sleeve things from eBay. I think I bought like 250 or 300, something like that, so I could put my steel books in them. Okay, so. There you go. And here's what, oh, hold on, let me put this back in there. Okay. Okay, now, here's the plastic sleeve that I was talking about, the plastic feeling. I got that from eBay if somebody was selling it. I think I bought 300 or so, or 300 of them, because I still have the box and it's still full of, even though I put a lot of my steel books in these things, I still have a lot left, so I'm trying to remember how many I ordered at the time. I think it might have been like 300 or something like that for like like 40 bucks or something like that. And I got like, like I think like 400 or 300, something like that. I don't remember. It's been so long since I ordered it from eBay. Back then, I used to order a lot of stuff from eBay. I used to, I was like an eBay fiend, but you know, not not so much anymore. I kind of missed, kind of missed that because you know, eBay was a good thing because Best Buy is not what it used to be. It really isn't. Uh, hold on, let me just put this in here. Best Buy is just not what it used to be. Okay. They really shrunk their movie section. The movie section used to be fantastic. But they really shrunk it down and basically gave you, made it, reduced it to nothing. 
uh, their movie section, which is a shame. Because uh, I bet you if you want a TV, you can get a TV, especially nowadays, you know, Black Friday and all that stuff. But I got a TV. I'm happy with my TV. I got a smart 3D TV. I don't need a 4K TV, although maybe next year I might get a 4K TV, maybe just to have it, whatever the latest technology, because I've had this TV for a couple of years now. I've had it for, uh, I think, at least five or six years, because I remember I sold my old, t my old TV, believe it or not, on Craigslist. I sold it to a girl on Craigslist, and she, you know, she worked in the police department, so it was good, and my stepfather was here, so, you know, you, you worry about selling stuff on Craigslist, and, you know, wacky people, but I have my, you know, my stepfather's here, and I had her come by, she came by, and looked at the TV and stuff, and then she came by with a boyfriend to pick it up. Okay, I think it was a cop or something. Anyway, but anyway, here's the uh, here it is. Sorry for the reflection, uh, because you know it's gloss, you know the glossy finish there on a matte thing. But that's cool. There it is. Maybe that'll be the thumbnail. I like that. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's cool. And there's the back. Uh, but I really uh, wanted this. I love this movie. Okay, I'm so glad that. Zach got to um, have his vision. Uh, oh man, CNN has fired Chris Cuomo effective immediately. Oh man, Chris Cuomo. I'm sorry, that was that was you know my I'm recording this on my phone, so I get pop ups from CNN and from Fox. So they said they fired Chris Cuomo. Apparently, I thought originally they were gonna, but anyway, that's a video for another time. Uh, anyway, uh, but that looks nice. Yeah, maybe that'll be the thumbnail. Anyway, uh, that's cool, and like I said, I love this movie, and thank God for the fans, put in, and Zach for, you know, for, you know, persevering and getting his vision out there, okay, and I have this one, hold on. I have this one, and then this one, <laughs> this, you know, the regular Blu-ray, okay, uh, so, it's cool. See, there you go. Side by side, you can see them. Uh, but uh, I'm just so happy this movie got Zach's vision, and hopefully we'll get part two and part three, fingers crossed, okay? Okay, and hopefully, like I said, now that Discovery has bought Warner Brothers, uh, maybe, you know, the new guy, when he comes in charge and pushes out the old guard, you know, green light, Zack Snyder's Justice League part two and three, okay? And that, that'd, be cool. that'd be cool, and plus we could hopefully get Henry Cavell continue on to be Superman and get that Rock versus uh, Superman movie, you know, and fight and this is am too. mix that in there too but anyway uh let me know what you think of this steel book i think it's freaking awesome and i'm so glad to have that and have the movie itself okay and uh like i said i i, I really did want the steel book I, I just wasn't gonna pay those outrageous prices on ebay that was just beyond ridiculous okay but there it is haha <laughs> there it is i like that love to add that to my collection that and this one which is the regular blu-ray Okay, which is so cool. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Zach, and thank the fans for getting you know get, getting this you know the push the the push for the the movie that didn't exist. Okay, okay, we got it. We got almost what we want to. Although I do want to see that deleted uh, Green Lantern scene, which should have been in there. Warner Brothers still being a dick to the end, not letting Zack Snyder put Green Lantern on the at the end of the movie. That was such a dick move. Okay, maybe one day we'll get that. Uh, another version of this with that scene included in it not that i didn't mind martian manhunter i think that was good as well i think would have been even better would have been martian manor hunter and green lantern coming to bruce at the end that would have been that would have been really awesome okay but i like what we got but although like i said i the green lantern scene would have made it or pushed it over the top and finally warner brothers please give us a green lantern there's supposed to be a green lantern series on hbo max right where is it okay we heard a little bit of casting and then it's like nothing it's like it vanished in the wind Come on, Green Lantern, do the Green Lantern movie, okay, that you're supposed to do, right? It was supposed to be uh, Lethal Weapon in Space with Hal Jordan and, uh, and, uh, and Jesus Christ, maybe forget the black guy's name now. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, Jesus, make me, I, I remember his name, hold on. Uh, Hal Jordan and, um, damn, you made me forget the guy, I can't remember his name now. Uh. But you know who I'm talking about, the Black Green Lantern. <laughs> I can't remember his name now to save my life. Uh, um, but, and then plus you're supposed to have the Green Lantern series, okay, on HBO Max. Okay, come on now, come on. Get this, get off your ass and get it done. Maybe when the new guy from uh, H uh, Discovery comes in, maybe he can stick a pin in their ass and get it and get them running on it. And I have my choices for uh, 
for uh for Green Lantern for the Green Lantern Hal Stewart and uh John no John yeah John Stewart and Hal Jordan John Stewart that's his, I can't geez, I'm sorry John Stewart and Hal Jordan uh for uh, John Stewart I want to do Travante Rhodes you may know him he was in Moonlight he was the grown up version of that kid and he was in the Predator movie he was uh the black guy that was in charge of all those Marines him he was in the uh, the box movie on HBO Max with uh Sandra Bullock Travante Rhodes he would make a perfect uh uh uh, John Stewart to me, okay, and get um now for Hal Jordan. Uh, uh, now you can't get Ryan Reynolds, unfortunately, because Ryan Reynolds always plays Ryan Reynolds in everything he, he he's in, and so. And hmm, I was thinking maybe, but you can't get Chris Pine because Chris Pine has already been uh, Steve Trevor, although that didn't stop Captain America, who was Johnny Storm, and and uh. In Captain America, but somebody like that, Chris Pine, some somebody Chris Pine like, okay, would be you know you need somebody slightly older than Travante Rhodes, okay, and uh, which I don't know, I think they might be that I don't know how their ages, uh, Chris Pine and Travante Rhodes. I think Chris Pine might be a little bit older than him, but yeah, you need some because it's supposed to be like a mentorship, so you need somebody a little slightly older, okay. But that's my pick uh, for uh, for Green Lantern Space if they ever make the freaking movie. Okay, and, and the TV series, which I want them to make. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think of that steelbook. And if you like it, tell me, uh, did, you, did you get the steelbook? Did you get a chance to get the steelbook? And did you see the movie and enjoy this version of it? Let me know down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also, I have a link to my other channel, for Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. Also, I have a link down below to my uh, my patron and my patron, uh, the link uh, down below to the patron. And the patron is only $5 a month. And I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere. I want to say thank you to him for supporting me and for always having my back. And also on my Patreon, which is only $5 a month, I have unedited TV show reactions on there. I have Hawkeye on there. I have uh, uh, Flash Season 8 so far, the, the episode so far. Although I'm going to put those two episodes probably tomorrow, the latest Flash Episode 3 and uh, Hawkeye Episode 3 on my uh, Patreon probably tomorrow. And and then so, but I'm going to have all six episodes of Hawkeye on there. And uh, I'm going to try to do whole, the whole season of The Flash this year, hopefully, it doesn't suck. <laughs> hopefully, um, I'm liking the uh, uh, the season eight so far of the Flash. Cecile, notwithstanding, if you've seen the last episode, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and so, and I also have a. Uh, these are the series that I have on my patron. I have Titan season three, unedited. Titan season three, uh, Doom Patrol season three. I have The Boy season two, The Mandalorian season two. I have WandaVision. I have Loki. I have What If. I have uh, uh, all four parts of Zack Snyder's Justice League, like I mentioned before in this video. I have uh, that on there. I have Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I have Captain... Uh, no, I said Captain... Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or Captain America and the Winter Soldier, if you want to think of it like that way. And I have Superman and Lois on there. And Superman and Lois is coming back in January, so I'll definitely be reviewing that. I have Stargirl Season 1 and Stargirl Season 2. Tons of unedited content on my Patreon. Again, it's only $5 a month to access it. Access, access those videos and see my reaction, my lovely reactions to those, and see those episodes. And also, um, I'm probably going to think I may this month, there's a few movies. I may also do movies on my Patreon as well. Okay. Like go revisit, I think maybe popular movies, like go back to watch the original Star Wars, which I haven't watched in, I don't know how long the original Star Wars. I remember seeing the original Star Wars. They took us to sc on school on a school trip. The Lowe's Astor Plaza on 44th Street and Broadway. We went and saw, uh, Star Wars when it first came out. I remember seeing that going to school, my school, and we went on a, a school trip to see that Star Wars. And I haven't, but I haven't seen Star Wars from beginning to end in years. Even though I have the, I have it over there, the you know the collection that came out a few years ago in the orange box. Um, so I haven't seen. So I may add, I may like do like revisit movies to my patron, and maybe I like put up a poll on this uh, and 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 ask people uh, what movies do you want me to revisit. And I'll do that exclusively, exclusively for my Patreon channel, and that way, like, like I said, Star Wars, which I haven't seen in a while, the original Superman movie, which I haven't watched in a while, like you know, like classic movies that I haven't seen in a while, classic superhero movies and sci-fi movies, like the original Alien, I haven't seen that movie in a long time either, stuff like that. Okay, anyway, let me know what you think. Link to the Patreon down below, and again, five dollars a month for the Patreon if you want to join that and support me, I'd greatly appreciate it. And also, like I said before, I said in, an, I don't know if I said it in my embed blog or somewhere. Or some video I said it in. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can design a shirt. I'm gonna. I'm looking into designing maybe like a shirt, and maybe a hat 
for this channel and I was thinking maybe do something for the patron too but I think more for this channel uh, I want to like design it like a shirt that I can wear like a like a like a t-shirt maybe a sweater you know like a sweater thing something like you know not like this this is like cloth but like a like a sweatshirt type of deal with some kind of logo and stuff I gotta work on that I may do that and I may I want to work on that uh, when I'm on vacation and then maybe like a hat and two which is, would be cool to do that anyway um let me know what you think uh again of the just league steelbook what do you think of it zach snyder's just league steelbook what do you think of it uh feel free to leave comments down below and again please give this video a thumbs up it helps the channel and i truly appreciate it and this is trey pastor saying so long and take care